So finished Leicester City 4, Newcastle United 0 <clears throat> at the Kim Power. And in a pathetic, shambolic performance I've ever seen for a long, long time. We've gone there, only needed to win to get out of the bottom three, go above Watford, and it hasn't happened. And we deserve what we got to do because we were just shambolic. Didn't show any commitment, didn't show us any effort. And guess what? Just didn't show anything for it. And then I got called toxic, <clears throat> negative, because I said trust the process. What I mean by trusting the process is for the players to show. I'm not blaming Eddie Howe on all of this at all whatsoever, because Eddie Howe is a decent manager, and he's my manager, he's my guy. But the players broke him to death. Broke him 110%. Those players need to look at, a, look at a hard look in the mirror, because that performance is absolutely unacceptable, and this can't ever happen again. Then again, we've got Liverpool on Thursday. We'll probably get and beat another 4 0, 5, 6, 7. It could be any score at Anfield. But today, the players, apart from John Linton, were shambolic. Yeah? And let's have a look at the back four. Yeah? Van Creel, I thought he was poor. Lascelles, shocking. Fabian Shah has been regressed by Lascelles. And Jamal Lewis, let's be real, didn't have a good game. He tried, but he didn't have a good game. The midfield, it's just all over the place. Very, very poor. John John Shelby did okay, but in the second half, it's revert the type. Getting frustrated. Joel Willock, this is the different Joel Willock that we witnessed last season. He's been poor this season. All ends up. Yeah. Miguel Miron, I'm a big fan of Miggy, but he runs like a headless chicken. And what has he created? What was this moment? And, you know, it's just not good enough. It's not. And then, you've got Joe Linton playing his heart out. He's one of our better players, sort of thing. Yeah? I think he's doing okay. Okay, he gave the ball away a couple of times, but he was still our best player. And poor Callum Wilson had no service at all whatsoever. And if you don't get any service at all, if you don't get any service from the midfield, then it's a problem because our midfield today was absolutely shambolic today. It really was, yeah. There's no pluses today. None of them. Not at all. Yeah? The goals conceded were shocking. Okay, the penalty was on the penalty. Yeah, when the Sellers dangled his leg out, Madison went over him and wins a penalty. It was definitely a dive. And then, the second half, if you look at it again, I mean, Madison did a brilliant flick to Barnes and he crossed it in for Dakar to make it 2 0. Then the third goal, Tielemans had a good strike from close range, makes it 3 0. And then James Madison put the ice on top of the kick, where he makes it number four. But today, our defence is woeful. Jamal Lascelles should be dropped. Fabian Shah, like I said, has been regressed by Lascelles. Yeah. And these players has broken Eddie Howe today. Broken. Big style. These players are not good enough. We need reinforcements in January. Because I'll tell you something now. As things stand, we'll be relegated with the squad. Alan St. Maximan. I love the guy. But he's just getting greedy. He's getting frustrated. The fans having a go at him. Yeah. And he needs to start playing as a team player. He's not the main man anymore. Think about it, Alan. You're not the main man anymore. You should be a team player. When you get the ball, give it. Don't do your tricks and flicks in their own half. You'd hurt them in their own half, deep in their half as well. Yeah? You've been poor this season. You've been very, very poor. The last four or five games, you've been absolutely shocking. You really have. Yeah? Are you happy in Newcastle? I don't know. But I'll tell you something. You're droppable if you don't perform. And let's be real. You should be dropped for the Liverpool game and get Jacob Murphy in. Yeah? But today was absolutely appalling. Absolutely appalling. And the Twitter messages I had the day, right, was I was being toxic. Our fans told us to F off. Our people saying poor tweet, yeah? I've got an opinion. Whether you like it or not, I've got an opinion like everybody else. And if you don't like my opinion, then you know exactly what to do. That's the bottom line. Yeah? Everyone's entitled to the opinions. Yeah? I'm not going to have a group of people like that unless they be aggressive to us. Yeah? 
I just block them because all the trolls are out in force again, right? Because I'm speaking the truth. I'm not a sheep. I've got my opinion, yeah? And at times, I think to myself, why do I bother go on social media sort of thing? Do you know what I mean? I just can't be bothered if that's going to be the attitude, yeah? But back to the day's game, I think today was shocking. I feared the worst on Thursday, what's going to happen, what Liverpool's going to do to us on Thursday night. Because I'll tell you something, I know performance like today, you're talking about six, seven or eight nils. I mean, Mo Salah, Salah and Mane, and Jota will be licking their chops. They're going to be thinking, wow, this Newcastle defence are generous, yeah? We just the God's gifts on giving, yeah? And I'll tell you what, we have conceded somewhere like 33 goals this season, 34 goals. We got some goal differences on like 24. That ain't good enough. That ain't going to keep us in the Premier League. It's as simple as that. And if we do go down, the players already got themselves to blame. That's the bottom line. Because I'll tell you something now, guys. They better fix up for these next few games. Go out there and have a go. Yeah? Otherwise, we could be something like six, seven, eight points adrift by January. And who would like to come to Newcastle in January? I mean, I cannot blame them if they don't want to come to us. Because we are such a poor team. A poor, poor team. We've got no direction, no leaders, and that's all there is to it, yeah? You need to drop players like themselves. Get in dropped, yeah? ASM needs to be dropped as well. Joe Willock needs to be dropped as well. Those three players I mentioned are not good enough at the moment in time. They don't want to be here, yeah? Eddie Howe must be thinking now, what the heck I'll join here for? What am I doing here? Yeah? He's going to be thinking that as well. Because i tell you one thing. The job Eddie's got now is bigger than ever. Yeah? What's he going to do about this squad? Because i tell you one thing. He needs to have a new back four. Because we haven't signed a centre-back for the last three years. Or four years, I meant to say. There's something's dreadfully wrong with this football club. Yeah? And... This is something that needs to be done about it very, very quickly. Otherwise, we could be relegated. And as things stands, with the goals conceded, we've got the worst goal scoring record in the Premier League. Look at Norwich City. They played Man U yesterday and they gave 100% for the whole of 90 minutes. And they've been unlucky not to be scoring a couple of goals. Yeah? I want to see that kind of fight. Where's the fight in us? I can't see any fight in us at all. Heads dropped. It's just like watching Steve Bruce be a manager at Newcastle United. Yeah? It's horrific. This has to be the worst performance I've seen in, under Eddie Howe. And this kind of happened again. I want to see some fight. I want to see some passion. I want to see some drive. I want to see a bit of heart in there. I haven't seen none of that today. And I'll tell you what, I'll drop flipping half of them on Thursday versus Liverpool. Yeah? If that means picking Hendrik, Gale, Fraser, get Fernandes back, or even Murphy, and drop out um, the underperformers, so be it. But one thing I would not accept, <clears throat> I would not have, is lacking, lacking leaders. I'm not going to put off with hiders. I'm not going to put off with giving up, yeah? This is Newcastle United. You show passion. And that's what I want from my club. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, you know what to do. Get out. I don't want you here. Look at the high earners, yeah? you got people like Shelby. you got people like Amiron. you got people like ASM, yeah? And they can't even put a shift in for 90 minutes. I'd be damned. I'd be damned. I mean, I've just listened to Paul's channel, Two Reviews channel, today, and he was absolutely furious, yeah? I'm not going to get angry. I'm not going to get mad. But one thing I can say, they better fix up very quickly. Otherwise... There's going to be big questions back there playing squad as well. And Eddie needs to root them out before it's too late. Anyway, that's it, guys. Tell us what you think. Do hit the like button. Do subscribe as well. And also leave a comment in the section down below. And I'll be another content very soon. So what are you doing, guys? I'm out of here. Take care.